Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and actually welcome to um, the new update of Surface Grids and Lasers. So this dropped um, last night. Um, so yeah, I'm making it a little earlier than normally would because I've been looking forward to getting into this. So yeah, here we go. The Surface Grids and Lasers update 24. So this is a long awaited. We have been looking forward to this for the whole year pretty much. Um, for this to come out and it is finally here so this is the first update officially you can now get this without having to go into the experimental version of the game if you just update your game um, you'll be able to get this so yeah really really awesome stuff so yeah here we go surface grid and lasers are here this is a big update that adds new layers to the simulation and new ways to experiment with planets moons and entire systems which is pretty awesome stuff surf or simulate surfaces surface grids is a huge complex feature that simulates the surfaces of planets moons and other objects every one of these objects now has simulated water levels water and vapor flow local temperature material states like snow and ice and more that's awesome vaporized planets with the giant laser yep yeah, we saw that in the experimental version which is really awesome so obviously they're going to be improved um even more now so did we mention there are lasers now whether you want to melt some ice caps or vaporize entire planets the laser is right tool for the job so that's in tools and laser um and more to come this is a verse version of um, surface grids we hope to have many more improvements coming over the following months so there's also a new simulation so we'll go ahead and uh, check that out um, and also water physics are looking different. There's a whole load of stuff um, in an update um, rundown, which I've got open as well, which I'll get onto that um, momentarily. But we'll go through this simulation first. So, yeah. Anyways, this is the surface simulation. So this is a um, surface grid, so a huge complex feature that simulates the surfaces of planets, moons, and other planets. How? It uses a grid of data to keep track of thousands of points across a planet's surface. That is really, really cool. Um, each um, point um, stores local data like the temperature, elevation, and composition of that spot. That is really, really cool. And as you can see as well, Earth Earth has had a slight um, change it is looking different in appearance now um, which is really really cool so yeah there we go right um, right oh okay so here's um, the earth orbit in the Sun let's take a look at Earth's properties okay so we need to select earth open it like we normally would right so now there's this new surface area right so the surface map at the top shows data for different surface properties it is currently showing um, the current currently showing temperature hover your mouse over the map to see the properties of individual points on the grid right so um, in the grid click next when you're ready to continue right so um let's dock this view panel so we can keep an eye on the surface temperature while we play with the simulation okay so we need to click this and then this option says there's loads of new options in here all right um and type so surface we've got composition like we normally would have had before and then object so yeah loads of new uh stuff to uh, play around with here so yeah really really cool stuff um we can also view the view panel to see a visual representation of the earth surface so if we click that this is really really awesome so i believe if we go to surface and then we go to elevation so yeah you can change all of this stuff so no displacement for that vapor masses all the, look at all these values and stuff to play around with it's going to take a while to get used to this um so i've not really had actually much play around with these layer options yet but as we can see there is a ton an absolute ton of stuff here to um play around with okay so these dot planets will let us keep an eye on the earth's conditions on the earth during the simulation right oh okay so now let's speed things up Okay, so notice that the seasons pass. The um, okay, so let's actually switch back to temperature. So as we can see, yeah, as the seasons change, we can see um, the temperature is going up and down, depending on um, where the Earth is. So um, yeah, notice that the seasons pass. The, um, the warmest temperatures move north and south on the map. The ice on the poles of the Earth advances and retreats. Yeah, it's so cool um, when it does that. But as we can see, yeah, there we go. So the temperatures all changing as well. So a lot of new stats to get used to. Um, to see an even more dramatic temperature shift, try tidy locking the Earth. Ah, yes. All right, so tidy lock it. So that will make one area a lot more warm than the other. So that's for sure. So yeah, this area now. So, yep. So the Australia and Asia area is now permanently at nighttime. And then the uh, Atlantic Ocean area is now in daytime. So as we can see, all of the temperatures building up on one side of the Earth. So it's already going into the 140 degree area already. So as we can see, this area is going to get a lot hotter. But now if we look... This area is all freezing up, which it didn't do before in the old version of the game. So now tidy locking planets actually really gives you different customization as well with being able to freeze up like this. So yeah, really, really awesome stuff. That is really cool how that works. So now you can make some really unique tidy lock planets and new custom variants. Um, so yeah, now one Earth is always facing the sun, the one side is facing away. The side that faces the sun will be very warm, yeah, as we can see. And then the other side is completely freezing, minus 60 degrees and getting colder. So um, yeah, covered in ice. Okay, let's try a different plant now. Okay, so moving on. All right, where are we heading now? Okay, so now we're at Mercury. There is no sun in this simulation, so Mercury is given basic surf temperatures based on its actual location in the real solar system. Okay, so yeah, there we go. 
Um, this mercury has also been given a thin atmosphere to allow liquid water to exist on its surface. Right. So we want to select mercury. Then we want to go to the surface. Yep. Right. So um, surface simulation handles more than just uh, um, this can be viewed with this map. Right. So open the view menu. Oh, it's so weird all these new buttons. So we want to switch to water depth. So if we go there. Right. So there's no water yet. So we need to add some water. So we need to go to tools. Okay. So we're going to manually shoot some water at mercury. Right, so we're on water right so now we need to aim and click to shoot some water at mercury so as we can see there is some now water building up on that part of the surface so hopefully it will spread out throughout the whole world no just in that area that is really really awesome so it didn't used to do that if you remember it used to just spread around the whole object straight away so keep adding water to mercury is our current um objective so we'll keep um doing that i'm clicking as fast as i can go we'll zoom out a little further out so as we can see there so now mercury has got some oceans on it there's a load of water behind it which is being shot okay so now we can see the water on the map is spread because surface mercury notice how it flows onto the impact craters and low areas that is so cool um, how it has done that. So now moving on. This map shows the depth of liquid water, but surface grid also simulates the formation of water ice. Yes. Right. Um, so we want to. Okay. So let's um, do. Okay. So it's really weird. All these new panels. Right. So we want to ice thickness. So that's this one. Right. So click to the panel again. Right. So the ice map. Okay. So we need to set this to minus 150 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that. So minus 150. Right. There we go. So now all that is going to freeze. So it's an ice map now, and then that means the water map will have, yeah, completely vanished or definitely decreased there. So, yeah, there we go. So on um, the top layer of water is the ice you can see on the map. Yes, yeah, so it's the top layer of the water, remember. So the reason why we still see water here is because there's a little bit of liquid really deep down. But, yeah, that's all freezing up as well by the looks of it. So, yeah, there we go. There may still be liquid water under the ice sheet, so you can see it on the water map. But it's pretty much completely disappeared now. Right. So there we go. Okay, what if we wanted to melt some of this ice? I'm assuming we want the laser for that. Uh, we could raise the average temperature of mercury and its properties, but there is another new tool. Yep, the laser. Right. So let's go ahead and check out the lasers now. Right. So we'll just use the regular um, laser here. So let's go ahead and shoot it in that crater, for example. So there we go. So we have, it's now a massive heat wave coming out of that crater there. Right, okay, so now there's the ice melts to heat the laser. Some water will appear. So if we just shoot some uh, of this around the water areas as we can see that ice is melting so now we have uh, heated up some of the ice sheets and now some liquid water has appeared again so yeah there we go there's a lot more on the surface so let's take a look at some of the other map layers okay so if we just disable the laser again and then we go back into the uh, menu here because so we right click so now we can see water depth has returned but if we go to ice depth there's still ice as well surrounding that water area that's pretty cool that is really awesome. Okay, so finish. So yeah, there we go. That is all of that stuff done. So yeah, really, really awesome indeed. So now um, we have done the new tutorial. Actually, no, I think there's also a new simulation for us to check out as well. Or was it... Oh, no, no, we just did it. Never mind. So um, yeah, there we go. Getting a bit of lag by the looks of it on the menu here. Um, so that is quite annoying. So we just have to wait for that to um, open. But yeah, there we go. So let's just close that all off. But yeah, really, really awesome stuff so far. But now getting into the update notes as well. So we've just viewed the new simulation. So yeah, sim heating. So we've got all of those new um, maps now. We've got the laser. So yeah, really, really awesome stuff. So if you apparently if you hold shift and control while using the laser, you can lower the elevation data. Um, right, improvements. Improved user interface styling. Better readability. Larger margins and fonts. Higher color contrasts. New styling for scroll bars and buttons. New icons for some of the interface buttons. So yeah, there's definitely some new ones like the simulation here. That looks new to me. The tools is new. Obviously, the laser icon is new as well. Obviously, all of these menus are new, um, which we've got right now. Um, so graphics. Improved lighting for planetary objects. Improved water visuals, which we saw on Earth. At improved vegetation and terrain rendering. Improved tidal heat. Eating. okay that's really cool renames 2014 mu69 to its nickname ultima um okay so it's new official name okay or uh, ultima few to arrow okay so that's all changed improvements to the app startup and sim loading auto saves during screenshots okay right and uh, now on to the other stuff so i believe there is some more stuff for us. yeah there is right so surface grids okay so all of that stuff Right, so that's just showing us what we just looked at. But custom atmosphere colors for random rocky planets is now officially here. Really, really good at that is in the game now. 
that is very cool and it's great that they've um, listened to what people have asked for and they've added it really really props to them and credit for them for doing that because that's really awesome so yeah massive thanks to the universe sandbox team for doing that because that is really awesome we've all wanted that for a long time so yeah if we go ahead and yeah we will close all this menu down um, so we'll leave mercury there if we go ahead to a random object now so let's open the menu and they did say it could be a little more laggy so my, i may have to turn my settings down because we're getting some uh, pretty strong lag here so um yeah there we go but yeah i'm definitely going to lower my settings um so let's just quickly pause this we'll go ahead and open the menu up right so let's see here we'll go over random rocky so we'll just place that over here for now just pull it a little far away from mercury so yeah if we go ahead and put our new object down now obviously all of the random textures are looking different now all the height map so yeah every random object will be different now so that is really really awesome but yeah if we go to composition is it composition where we do it oh no it's in overview isn't it so if we go to yeah the appearance atmosphere color is now here so if we change stuff and oh, no, we need to add an atmosphere first so go to composition uh, it's weird seeing uh, they move things Wait, where's the atmosphere or am i just losing my mind okay so everything's looking slightly different so it's a little confusing where to find the atmosphere yeah here we go so let's just go over 10 kilograms so there we go so we now have this blue atmosphere but obviously we can go ahead and change the color to anything we want i mean look at this gray um, if we just black it all out, it'll just be like that dark Pluto-like atmosphere. Uh, but yeah, we got we can literally have any color we want on the grid. So it's w even easier than modern now to do this. You can literally just use the color grid to make absolutely any color you want here. I mean, the possibilities are endless for different colors. I mean, look how many variants. You can even make two-tone sort of looking objects. This one, as you can see, is slightly more white at the equator. But as it goes to the north and south poles, it gets a little more blue. So you can make just tons of combinations and colors that you may not have been able to make before if you modded the game so yeah just really really awesome to see this added i mean you can literally just the, the possibilities for coloring planets are just endless now i mean look you could just make you can make anything you can literally just make any color combination with the atmosphere you want and just make some pretty wacky stuff and also as you can see as well the dark side of the planet is now partially lit up as we can see which wasn't in the game before don't, I'm not sure I'm too keen on this change. I mean, I know Space Engine sort of does it, but I don't know. It, it's kind of a little funny to me, but I mean, I, I can live with it. It's not too bad, but um, yeah, it's, a, it's a little funny and it'll take some time to get used to. But yeah, it won't, it's not really too much of a big deal, to be honest. But um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, really, really cool stuff right there. Right, so now moving on, all of the other update notes. Okay, so they've also fixed a bunch of bugs and yeah supernovas have had um fixes and stuff like that so there's a lot of bug fixes and stuff improvements um click search icon in top right in home and settings remove climate tutorials the climate aspect of simulations has been dissolved into the new surface grids feature okay so they've um, removed a few things so yeah really cool S um surface view mode okay so we've checked all that out um and yeah that is mostly everything in the update and then it just goes on to the previous update of saturn's moon so yeah that is everything in the update so i've got to say this is a this is a really big update there is so much in here which is really really awesome um so yeah there we go really really cool indeed so now you can sort of do the um earliest steps of modding in the game now with the atmosphere color the very first modern objects were just custom colored atmosphere so now you can sort of um step into the early modders shoes and now do some of that work by yourself in the game so a lot easier than what they had so you can literally just do yeah any color you want it's really really cool it's so cool that they've managed to add this so yeah there we go so um yeah there we are um gas giant customization i'm afraid i don't think they've done anything on that but i believe they do have plans for it but yeah as we can see gas giants are still the same as before so yeah you still have to mod them to get custom variants of those um unfortunately but yeah i think they are working on that i think i saw something about um they're doing that but now moving on to custom objects, this is where things could be a little bad because um, as far as we know so far, custom or modded objects have had or been hit quite hard by this update. So certain ones may not work anymore. So let's just say we want to spawn in the custom Korok 7B here. Does that one still work? So as you can see already, it's lost its sort of coloured tint to it and it's, all, it's a little glitched out and you can see the... Yeah, there's a little bit of problem on this. So yeah, modded objects... They are going to be a little fishy in this update. I mean, we can spawn a ton of them in. As you can see, they're, they're looking a lot more ruined already. I mean, I can spawn some of the cloud objects in here. There's a lot of um, stuff changed. Gas Giants, on the other hand, should be all right, though. Yeah, Gas Giants um, with their bands are fine because they haven't had any update um, this time around. So they're fine. But yeah, stuff with tints and stuff like that, they seem to have been uh, hit hard by this update, as you can see. So yeah, keep, um, keep in mind, if you update to this version, some of your modded objects may be broken. 
as we can see here it looks like pascal um, is a little funny now but i could probably fix that um but yeah so just keep in mind if you're updating that some of your variants may be damaged by this i mean i think uh, some of the ones with the custom surfaces i think they could be a little broken by this as we can see here so yeah keep in mind if you're going to update versions modded objects may be a little broken now so yeah there we go but other than that really really nice update indeed and yeah the surface grid stuff we're definitely going to have to do some more videos on um playing around with the lasers and stuff so if you guys have any um recommendations that you want to see for videos then let me know um down below in the comments what we can do with the lasers if there's any like do you want me to do certain stuff with the lasers and freeze up planets and stuff because this is so cool um with the way this works um, and obviously there's all different versions of lasers which we um checked out um in one of the previous videos but yeah we can incinerate planets by doing it i mean if we click play that's just going to explode straight away and yeah all those ones are going to collide as well but yeah if you guys have anything specifically that you want to see for videos let me know down below in the comments and yeah just let me know your thoughts on the update as well because um yeah really really cool stuff um i have to say and yeah just it's, it's awesome oh and then that's pascal it's just smashing to the gas giant there but yeah really really cool indeed and yeah massive well done to the universe sandbox team and yeah really really nice work um i have to say really cool indeed um, but yeah, that is everything guys. So um, let's see if we can go for 50. Oh, and that's a bit <laughs> damn But yeah, let's see if we can go for 50 likes um, for today's video guys for this brand new update And obviously like I said, you don't have to go to the experimental version anymore You can now just update your game and it will bring this up um, straight away as well So if you guys have got the game definitely recommend um, checking it out and yeah well, I'll, I'll definitely be working on getting some videos on all these new features um, Just me we definitely with the lasers and the surface grids because we've uh, only touched the surface of all of these new features So we're definitely gonna have to go in more in depth in different videos with experimenting um, with all of this stuff here so yeah that is that but yeah other than that guys make sure you have a great day subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 11,000 subscribers also make sure to join my discord server link in the description and you can also um, give me ideas um there as well and also um check um check out all the latest stuff and modded objects and stuff like that but um yeah that is everything so like i said make sure you will have a great day and i'll see you in the next video guys goodbye